Hey everyone, it's Chris Braverman and I am playing WWE 2K19 for the Xbox One and today I am doing an AEW concept video. So those of you out there already, wrestling fans, you already know AEW stands for All Elite Wrestling, which is the new wrestling promotion headed up by Tony Khan and his family and Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks are behind it as well so right off the bat here you see Chris Jericho the poster child for all elite wrestling he's like the hugest wrestler that they have um, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you a concept video um, what I think all elite wrestling should be and who should be involved in all elite wrestling so here we go uh, let's go to the calendar and I would put all elite wrestling television programming on a Tuesday night. Um, I heard that the Khan family and AEW, they're getting or looking into television deals right now. Um, I heard a you know, rumor that they would wind up with TNT or TBS, hopefully. That would be nice to see wrestling back on the Superstation or on TNT. Um, but if not, then that's okay. Let's just see where they end up. Anyway, I think their time slot, uh, they should have TV on Tuesdays uh, because Mondays, of course, we have Monday Night Raw. Raw is never moving from Mondays. Um, SmackDown is leaving the Tuesday nights um, and it's going to Fridays when it moves to Fox. So yeah, there's really not no wrestling on Tuesdays in, in, that I can see. Um, so all elite wrestling would fare just well on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, of course, is like, uh, what is it? It's NXT, right? Yeah. 205 Live is on Tuesday. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, they should be on Tuesdays, maybe even on Thursdays, possibly, but not Fridays. I don't like Friday time slots for wrestling because people go out on Friday evenings. Um, you know, the older crowd, they go out to clubs, they go out dancing, go out to restaurants, movie nights whatever wrestling should not be on Fridays so anyway all elite wrestling should be on a Tuesday that's what I just said <laughs> um, anyway let's see what we've got here let me take a look at my superstars and how can I do that really quickly all right let's go to start show and we'll look at the superstars of AEW so we've got um, Adam Page hangman um, so a lot of the people that you'll see here, these are people that I would want in AEW because I, I think that they're great talents and they would make the product awesome. And, and there's some guys that have, have already been confirmed for AEW, so I've already added them too. So anyway, Adam Page, Hangman, uh, he's already with AEW, I think he'd be a great fit. Uh, I would sign Alberto Del Rio. I think he's a phenomenal athlete and he would draw in the, uh, the Latin market. Alex Shelley, he's retired, but um, he's a young guy. I don't see why he should stay retired. He can come out for the right money. Um, AEW, I think they could get him and do wonders for AEW. Angelina Love, another great wrestler, a great female uh, attraction. Austin Aries definitely should be in AEW. I would hire Wade Barrett. He hasn't done anything wrestling-wise. I know he's in the UK doing the world of sports stuff, not as a wrestler, but as a you know on-air personality. But he should be back wrestling. The dude just has a great look. He's a handsome guy, a great physique, tall. Uh, he should be world champion anywhere, anywhere. WWE used him wrong. Maybe AEW can do wonders for him. Uh, Billy Gunn. So he signed on, I think, as a uh, producer. Right? I think that's what it is. But of course, he still wrestles. So he'd be a great fit wrestling as well. I would hire Brooke Adams, Carlito, great wrestler. Um, you know, again, he'd be great for the Latin market. And you know, he, he's just well, he's well known all over the world. And, uh, multi time champion in WWE. He's been IC champion, he's been tag champion, been US champion, very decorated wrestler from the, you know, prestigious Cologne family. Probably does an excellent wrestler. He should be with AEW. Chavo Guerrero, of course, as well, from the uh, prestigious Guerrero family. Champion in WCW, 
WWE. He's been the ECW World Champion, even though that ECW title was owned by WWE at the time. But Chavo Guerrero is great. Uh, he's training the ladies of GLOW right now, uh, the Netflix series. And yeah, he's great. Chris Jericho is already signed, so definitely would have him. Chris Masters, I like the masterpiece. I would hire him. Chris Saban, definitely out with an injury, but I would definitely grab him when he heals up. Christian, um, so he's like retired right now. Um, don't know the specifics behind it, but I know WWE stopped using him after a bit. He's still a young guy. I think he still can go, so I would hire Christian. Chris Daniels, he's hired already. Uh, Cody Rhodes, of course, he's like the main man with AEW. Baby Boy Smith Jr., D.H. Smith, Harry Smith. Love the guy, love his father. Um, dude has a whole bunch of potential. I would sign him to AEW. Eddie Edwards, I would hire. Um, and Davey Richards. Um, So Davey Richards, I haven't downloaded yet or, or made a CAW of, but I want Davey Richards. I want the Wolves reunited in my AEW. Uh, and yeah, I would I would hire Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards. I know Davey Richards like stepped away from wrestling. He's like pursuing um, something much more, <laughs> um, or at least to him, it is uh, something much more worthwhile outside of professional wrestling, but I would hire Davey Richards. Like I said, for the right money, you can make anyone come back to wrestling. Um, Frankie Kazarian is already in. Gail Kim, I think she's retired, but um, she's still young. She still can go. I would hire her. Um, very notable personality inside of professional wrestling. Um, she's married to a world-famous chef. So, you know, she can attract a, a great crowd, having Gail Kim a part of AEW. The Hurricane, Shane Helms. Great cruiserweight, great athlete. The dude's funny. Um, I would personally have him as just regular Shane Helms with Gregory Helms, but the Hurricane works because, you know, it's world renowned. Ivelisse Velez, great wrestler. I would hire her. Jack Swagger, uh, fresh off of a very impressive victory at Bellator. Um, the dude is the real deal. The dude is the man he's been wrestling since he was like a child and whatnot. Collegiate wrestler as well. Jack Swagger would make a great fit at AEW. They should have used them better at WWE. Don't know why they didn't, but I would hire him. AEW should hire him too. James Storm, great wrestler. Jay Lethal, of course. I know he's with ROH right now, but uh, Cody and the Bucks, they've got a uh, great relationship with ROH. I'm sure they could work something else. As they did say they're going to be working with other promotions and ta talent exchanging and whatnot. Jay Lethal should be a part of that talent exchange. Jay White, another one. Uh, he's with NJPW right now, but again, talent exchange, he should be with AEW. Jazz, love Jazz. Um, a veteran, she's still wrestling right now. She's the NWA Women's Champion. Uh, she would add great flair to uh, AEW. John Morrison, the uh, Impact World Champion. Uh, again, talent exchange. Uh, that AEW has been talking about. Hopefully they can exchange talent with TNA uh, whenever they decide to launch. And yeah, John Morrison would make a great fit at AEW. Then we've got Jordan Grace. Again, she's at Impact, but she'd be great at AEW. Ajushin Thunderliger, another veteran. Um, just great all-around wrestler. I would hire him just to add, you know, can get a lot of energy get a lot of knowledge from Jushin Double Legger. The dude will, I'm sure he'll sh steal the show. Kubutu Guerrero, still active, uh, has some name value, has not some, he has name value. People remember him from World Championship Wrestling and his time in the WWE, I would hire him. Caitlin, I would hire. Uh, Okada, uh, so he's with NJPW, and of course, uh, AEW can exchange talent bring him in. Kenny Omega. It'll be interesting to see where he's going to end up. I already know he'll end up with All Elite Wrestling. 
in real life. Um, but if he ended up in WWE, that would shock the heck out of me. But I'm excited towards him ending up at AEW. Karma. Yeah. Uh, a huge threat she would be to the women's division. They should get her. Kota Ibushi. La Parca. Still active in professional wrestling. Still active in Mexico. Uh, funny, I just had a chat with Sonny Ono. Uh, I'm working on an event. I won't tell you what that is. But spoke to Sonny Ono. And Sonny Ono let me know that La Parca is actually a, a huge draw in Mexico right now. Um, we remember him from World Championship Wrestling. But over the years, he's become like a bigger, even bigger, bigger, bigger name in Mexico than he has ever been. That's awesome. I would get La Parca you know, to bring in the Mexican wrestling crowd. Marty Scurll, uh, Masahiro Chono, a legend, uh, Japanese legend. I'll bring in the Japanese fan base with Chono. He's still active as well. Uh, Matt Jackson and the Young Bucks, he's there. Matt Seidel, I heard he's a free agent recently. I would hire him. Neville, he's signed on with AEW. He's a great get. Uh, Nick Aldis. I will get him. He's a great wrestler, actually. Nick Jackson of the Young Bucks. Uh, Penta, definitely. Uh, I'm not sure if he signed with MLW or with Lucha. Not sure what's going on, but uh, I would snag him if he becomes available. Psychosis, another great addition for a cruiserweight division. Great wrestler as well. Mexican fan base would hire him. Ray Phoenix, of course. Rob Van Dam. So. I heard he retired at one point, and I've seen recent videos of him wrestling. <laughs> I've seen him wrestle like Penta, so I don't know exactly what the case is, but I'm assuming he's not retired. The guy can still go, um, and of course, name recognition, name value, I would hire Rob Van Dam for AEW. Santana Garrett, phenomenal female wrestler, I would definitely get her. Uh, Scarlett, she's on Impact right now, but Talent Exchange. She would definitely be a draw. Uh, Sue Young, love her. I would hire her. Super Crazy, huge, huge fan of Super Crazy. Loved his stuff in ECW, loved his stuff in WWE. I would get him. Tama Tanga, gotta be loyal to the Bullet Club. And I like the dude, I like his character. Um, I like his personality, I would hire him. Uh, Tanahashi, definitely. Tanga Loa. I would get him. Camacho, <laughs> the former Camacho, definitely. Taya Valkyrie, she's a great wrestler as well. I would grab her with her husband, John Morrison, as well. Uh, Tanil Dashwood, this is my favorite wrestler of the current age. I love Tanil Dashwood, a graduate of the uh, Storm Wrestling Academy. Lance Storm, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. I love her as Emma in the WWE. The girl can go, I would hire her, I would like set her up as the world champ immediately. Women's world champ. Tessa Blanchard, another great, would definitely hire her. Uh, Naito. Naito-san. Love him. Would get him. Uh, Trevor Murdoch. So I loved his stuff in the WWE. Loved him teaming with Lance Cade. Not sure if any of you, or not sure if a lot of you remember him, but Trevor Murdoch, former tag team champion in the WWE with Lance Cade. I love the guy. I love his look. He had like a throwback look. You know, and I thought he should have done more in the WWE. So I would hire Trevor Murdoch. I think he's still active. I've seen like recent stuff uh, as far as like 2018, like in the early 2018s. So I think he's still active. I would hire him for AEW. Ultimo Dragon, still active. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time. He's putting it down in Japan and in Mexico. I've seen some stuff of him in the US recently. He still can go. I love him. Yoshi Asai, I would get him. I love that guy. Uh, Vita Scott, would get her. Uh, Velvet Sky, uh, she's not actively wrestling, but um, like I said, for the right money, you can get anyone to come out of retirement or whatever kind of hiatus they're on, so I would get her. Uh, Victoria, she's still going. One of the great female wrestlers of all time, I would definitely hire. Well Spray, definitely. Yuji Nagata, still active in Japan, love the dude, would hire him. Zack Sabre Jr., definitely. Uh, Sienna, would definitely hire. Tommy Dreamer, 
would definitely get. The dude just has a mind for the business. He's been around since like forever. He's still relatively young. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but he booked, helped book ECW, helped book some stuff in WWE. He's helping to book Impact right now. And the guy still wrestles. He's a good wrestler too. So I would definitely hire him. Tommy Dream. Not only as a producer, but as a wrestler. Get things hardcore, dude. Um, so that's my roster. Uh, I believe we've got like 69 guys. Um, let's see here. What we for next. All right, so show details. Um, so I, did, I do have an arena, a custom arena for AEW. I'll try to show you guys that in a bit. Uh, so yeah, 69 participants. That's how many guys we've got here at AEW. Number of matches, seven every week on Tuesdays. And these are the belts. So I've got, um, and like I said, this is just concept stuff. Maybe I'll take out some stuff and, you know, not sure. If, you know, maybe AEW doesn't even check out my video, but uh, maybe they won't have all these belts. But this is just me and my concept, and maybe I will remove some belts. So we have the World Championship there. We've got the Intercontinental Championship, a Cruiserweight Championship, the Tag Team Championship, US Championship, and the Women's Championship. Take a look at the belt. So this is the world title. Uh, what else? This is the uh, U.S. title, the tag team titles, the uh, women's championship, intercontinental championship, and the cruiserweight title. So they all look very diff different, different, uh, very distinct titles, uh, very beautiful titles for all elite wrestling. And I, I like the fact that Cody said that wins and losses won't matter. Not sure how he intends to make that happen, but um, it'll be interesting to see. That should definitely be a focal point. And then of course, pay-per-views will be on Sunday. This is not an official pay-per-view, that's just like a, a placeholder pay-per-view, but I'll change that soon. But yeah, that's pretty much my concept AEW, my concept roster, my concept titles. Let me show you an arena really quick. This is supposedly a show, which this looks pretty cool, by the way. When they're mixing in guys that I don't even have hired here. <laughs> Alright, so let's start off the show. Let me show you what the arena looks like. So this is what the show presentation would look like. Uh, you saw the arena, um, you know, it's a work in progress. Got to take out that Clash of Champions little banner that you saw going up there. But let me show you a further look at, uh, at the arena. This is the uh, you know, show, show displays. Here comes Neville or Pac. Take a look at the guardrails and the uh, the ring. Looks pretty cool, huh? And here comes Marty. You see the AEW logos on the chairs? Isn't that cool? The villain, baby. Villain club.
Hey, yo, did you see that WWE logo there? Gotta take that out. <laughs> All right, and you've just seen the presentation in the arena for AEW. And that's pretty much it. Well, that's my concept video for all elite wrestling. These are all the wrestlers I would hire, the belts I would have, how they would look, the arena, uh, the presentation. Overall, that's how everything would look in my eyes and in my opinion. Um, let's see what Cody and the Bucks and Tony Khan and the Khan family do. Uh, be interesting to see. We'll definitely admit that. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Have any opinions, any comments, please sound off in the comment box below. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Chris Braverman and visit the website chrisbraverman.com for more. See you next time.